What's up guys, Spiro here from WPSociety.com back with another video. In today's video I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you how you can install WordPress in your subfolder. It's actually a very simple step-by-step -step process which we're gonna do through the four steps. In the first step we are going to create database, database user and allow permissions. Second step we are going to upload extract and prepare WordPress files. In the third step we are going to edit WP config file so our WordPress files can access database and in the last step we are going to install it so very simple step-by-step -step tutorial now before we go to the content I just want to let you know that here at WP Society we talk about WordPress we create WordPress tutorials for beginners intermediate and advanced users we also create complete step-by-step -step how to make a website tutorials so if you want to improve your WordPress skills make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and now without further ado let's go let's hop into the content all right guys we are now inside my computer and we are over at goodmoodpromotions.com and what we're gonna do we are going to hop in a cpanel and we're gonna create a database a database user and password and allow user to access the database so to do so, you can use this search function here and just search for uh, MySQL and then find this MySQL databases plugin and click on it. In here, you can create a database name. We're just gonna call it A1 for purposes of this tutorial and then click create. And as you can see, edit the D database and then save that database into Notepad scroll a little bit down and create your user and I'm going to call it user a1 and click generate password and then store your password click that you've copied password in a safe place and click use password and then here put the password and again click, click create user and once you created the user you're going to get this you have successfully created mysql user named and then copy this name because we're going to use it in a step number three so here we have database name, database user, and database password, right? And then scroll all the way down to the bottom and find our user, which was user A1. And then find our database, which was A1, and click add and click add all privileged and then click make changes and if you see success here that means that you've successfully add privileges to your user to access the database now just go back and it's time to go to cpanel home and this brings us to the step number two in step number two we are going to download wordpress so just head over to wordpress.org and then get wordpress and then download wordpress and I already have WordPress, I'm just gonna download it again, doesn't matter. Close this window, head over to cPanel and search for File Manager. Click on the File Manager, go to the public HTML, because that's a public HTML. So this public HTML folder here is actually goodmoodpromotions.com. And we're gonna create and we're gonna install WordPress in a subfolder. So we're gonna call it just subfolder, but it can be any name just so I can show you if we now put here forward slash subfolder it's gonna open up that subfolder now we're gonna rename this because we don't want to separate installation to be subfolder we're gonna name it block because for example at the root of the domain we might have a forum and then under the block section we might want to have our WordPress block and then we are just gonna write here block and you'll see it's gonna open up and now again if you go back and open subfolder it's not existing on a server anymore so the you see this public HTML here is actually the root domain of the server hosting right so let's go here on the blog and then we're gonna upload here our WordPress files and then that just select this WordPress zip file and upload it to server it'll take a couple of seconds once upload has successfully completed just close this window and then click here reload sometimes you might need to wait a half a minute but it won't take long before the file appears here in your blog folder so just wait a little bit longer and then click reload again and now it appears right click on this wordpress file click extract and then extract files once again 
Once files extracted, they're gonna get extracted into this WordPress folder. So if we refresh this location here, you'll see that we have zip file and WordPress. And if you open a WordPress one, it will start the installation. So that's not what we want to do, right? So instead of that, we want to install WordPress directly into this blog folder. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna move all these files from WordPress folder into the root folder of the blog subfolder. So just move, remove this forward slash WordPress and just leave like HTML slash blog move and then select this WordPress folder and select this WordPress zip file and remove them and then click to delete and then click here to skip trash and delete permanently and confirm delete. And that brings us to the step number three. In step number three, we are going to edit this WP config sample file. So to do so, just click right click on this and rename and rename from WP config sample to WP dash config dot PHP. Click rename file, then click right click again and edit and edit. And now it's time to pull our saved data from notepad file. So copy your database name and replace where it says database name here. Now repeat the same process for user and for your password as well. When you've successfully replaced all these fields, click save and then close. And we are ready to move to final and fourth step, which is installation of our WordPress into our subfolder. To do so, all we have to do now is refresh this blog folder. Here we are in a old known WordPress installer. Click continue or choose your language, select your site title, mine will be blog, username, save your password on somewhere safe, type your email and install WordPress. Click login and log in. And here you have it guys. It was very simple, step by step, as I promised. So guys, I hope you found this useful. If you did so, make sure you smash the like, comment in the description below, because that helps this video reach more people. Also, before I knock off, I just wanna ask you one last question. If you're interested in making money online, make sure you check my number one most recommended opportunity online, which is what I'm doing right now. Sign up for my email list, and I'm gonna send it over to you right away, right now. And with that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did so, again, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Also, check these two cards on the right-hand side. I'm going to leave really good videos. One will be about how to make a WordPress website from scratch, and the other one will be how you can speed up your website for 0.2 seconds if you're running Contact Form 7 contact plugin. So go check these two cards on the right-hand side because they're really valuable for everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Cheers.